What's going on guys, it's Nando back with one more video. And today we have the Samsung Gear Fit 2 in front of us. Now, this Gear Fit 2 has been out for several months now. I think it was announced at the end of 2016 or the last quarter of 2016, maybe September, October. And here we are at the beginning of June of 2017. Now, the reason why I'm making this video today is because I still feel that this fitness tracker is extremely relevant in the fitness market. Now, probably your most popular fitness band out right now is from Fitbit. I wear the Charge 2 HR um, every day, and I love it. But there are some things about the Charge 2 uh, that I don't like that I do like that uh, Samsung introduced with the Gear Fit 2. And because of that, um, I wanted to make this video so you guys have an idea of what to expect if you're considering this bad boy um, or something from Fitbit. Now the Samsung Gear Fit 2 is an extremely gorgeous device. As you guys can see here, it's got this very nice OLED screen. Uh, it's got this amazing ability to show uh, very, very nice colors. Uh, the contrast is nice. The band itself is a very comfortable band. As you guys can see here, the band is this very soft rubber. My cat even loves the Gear Fit too. What you think, girl? Yeah, I think she likes it. And the device itself um, is very very comfortable and easy to wear. This circular shape sits and hugs your wrist very well. Now the bands itself are removable as you guys can see here to the left and the right are these kind of like push in uh, little switches um, that lets you pop out these bands and put on something else. Um, and this band does everything that you expect a fitness band to do. Um, it counts your steps, it tracks your heart rate. It allows you to track your runs and walks because it has built-in GPS, which the Fitbit does not. Now, I'm gonna leave comparisons and which one I think is better for another video. But in regards to this tracker, um, I think that Samsung has done a lot of nice things. The single number one thing that I enjoy the most about this tracker is the fact that it is water resistant or waterproof. Uh, you can go swim with this guy, you can go take a shower with this guy, and you shouldn't have any issues. Now, I don't know what the depth is or the rating for this guy is. You guys can uh, do some quick Google research to figure that out. But I have showered with it, I have seen people dunk it, and no issues whatsoever. Now, so far, battery life on this guy is okay. Lasts me about a day, day and a half. And that's my biggest issue with this. And that's a shame because this thing right here is really, really fun to use. It allows you to get your notifications on your wrist. Um, it allows you to swipe which ones you want to um, be notified for or not. It connects with all other Android devices and it even has support for iOS. Now the support for iOS is lacking. Uh, honestly, I wouldn't recommend it for iOS. Um, Apple has a very closed ecosystem and this Gear Fit 2, when used with an iOS device, you know, most likely an iPhone, um, you're going to have limited functionality. Now with the Samsung device, no issues whatsoever. With Android, so far I haven't ran into any issues at all. I'm gonna be getting the HTC U11 here shortly and I do plan to use it with that, so I'll report back um, in the comment section below if that's been an issue. Now, I have noticed that the GPS um, on this band uh, takes a little bit of time to lock in. Once it does lock in, it seems to work well, um, but it kills your battery life and that's expected because of GPS functionality. Um, you're also able to download music onto this Gear Fit. Um, it has four gigabytes of internal storage um, and it does sync up as well with um, like your Spotify playlist or something like that that you're able to switch 
by uh, swiping on the screen. So, you know, all in all, this is a feature packed device. Um, I think it looks much better than the first gear fit that Samsung introduced. And I think that it looks a lot better than a lot of the Fitbits and Garmin's out there right now. Um, with that being said, the Samsung Health app um, is extremely busy, if that's a way to call it. It has, in typical Samsung function, a feature for everything, a menu for everything, it tracks a little bit of everything. Um, and that again is a discussion for another video. But if you're considering getting the Gear Fit 2, I think that you won't be disappointed. Uh, if you're looking to get this or a Fitbit, uh, I'd say either the Ulta HR or the Charge 2, the one that I use, um, then that's a toss up. And I'll leave that for another video. So please subscribe if you haven't. Thumbs up this video as well. Um, coming up, like I said, I will be doing a comparison between the Fit 2 and the Charge 2 from Fitbit. So I'll let you guys know which one I prefer and which one suits which style of user the best. And that's it guys, just a quick video um, on, just a quick video on the Gear Fit 2 and hopefully you guys enjoyed it. So again, please subscribe if you haven't and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Guys, stay geeky, peace and peace.